Well, good morning, adventurers. This is the hottest, well, at least the muggiest day yet. And boy, are we sweating. So, we're opening all the windows. We're gonna set our fans up, get a little cross ventilation going, and then we're gonna do some demolition on the inside. First things first, we are going to... <clears throat> me, me, me. Read it, redo, take two. First things first, we are going to remove the rest of this wall. So, as you guys saw in the last video, I took this panel out just to see what we were working with back there. It looks pretty good so far. We're also testing out some paint, but we realized this wood is really nasty. We probably needed a lot more coat, so don't mind that. Yeah. This was Allison's idea to take a panel off and then paint it and then put it there so yeah. you can get a sense of what the colors can look like. Yeah, we have some flooring samples and paint samples that we will be mixing and matching to see what we like, although we are very far from that <laughs> stage, yes, so right. try not to cloud my head with it, but it's exciting. <laughs> Yeah. Check it out. So this is what we were trying to get to. Pretty. So that's uh, got to go. Yeah, sadly. It's so interesting because this has all this damage, but then if you look at the wall here, it doesn't really behind the cabinets. So here's our plan. We're going to keep this front facing thing, sand it down and paint it. Then we're going to rebuild this frame because this was actually really simple. Just some like one by twos and then some uh, paneling. It's not the most sophisticated thing anyway. So. I don't feel so bad. It's not like the pine is beautiful and pristine stuff. It's yeah. just this really thin layer they put on there. Basically, we are gonna keep the cabinets pretty much how they are. Mm -hmm. Just rebuild them, make them a little stronger than they were. Yeah, and, and spruce them up a little. They've got a few more dings than we'd like. My plan is to use the multi-tool here. Oh yeah. And uh, just reveal what's behind here, just to see if the wood needs to be replaced. Because if the wood's bad enough, we might have to take this whole panel out. So this is what's behind the wall. We really thought this was gonna be all rotted out like the sleeping area was, but it's really not. There's just a couple little spots of mold there and then a little bit of surface stuff. So this could all probably have a layer of kills put on it and then be sealed back up, I would think. Although, makes yeah. me wonder what's going on with the roof. And the roof is not something we really wanna mess with, but. Yeah, not yet anyway. Oh, I don't know, it's yeah, pretty soft it's right there. It's a little soft there, so <laughs> we might have some water damage up here. <laughs> So we got that bit of paneling out of there. Took a little break, got myself a soda pop. We took the cabinets out. We thought we were gonna leave the wall behind the cabinets and not mess with it, but we're realizing if the roof has damage, there's, we need to take the insulation out anyway. We might as well, if we're taking everything else out, take the whole wall out. Yep. So I think we're just gonna- We're just gonna rip it apart, baby. Down. But carefully and nicely rip it all out, right? Oh. Especially mm, bye-bye cabinets. Right. Oh, it's so much more open in here. I huh? know, it's crazy. It feels huge. Oh my. Wall panels are pretty much off, so we've exposed this entire wall. I'm glad we did too, because there was a good little chunk of rot over here. Nowhere near as bad as the sleeping area was, so that's no. good. But. That means that when we go and reseal this top corner on the outside, we're gonna have to take all this stuff out. We're gonna redo all these panelings, but we're also gonna put some new wood in here as well. How are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> Overwhelmed yet? I think I'm numb to <laughs> learning about all this new like mold and all the places or the things that we have to replace. Yeah. I'm just, we've been talking about how we're just accepting that we're rebuilding an RV from yep. the ground up. That's what we're doing. <laughs> You guys, this is Roy, which is actually a, a girl dog. Mm -hmm. She comes up periodically to check on our progress. She's <laughs> never very impressed with it. No, and she's definitely not very helpful. Yeah, she's also very old. <laughs> she's a little sweetie. I think the owner said she's like 16 years old. Yeah. I don't know how she's still going, but she just wanders the neighborhood, mm -hmm. goes from house to house saying hi. Trying to get food. Yeah. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Roy. <laughs> Took a little lunch break to get some Panda Express. Oh gosh, Dude, yes. they are on their A game these days. Look how <laughs> green this is. Oh Looks my really gosh, good. so many vegetables. We accidentally always work way too late. It's three o'clock right now. Yes. So we end up eating lunch at like two or three most days. Oopsie, but we're trying to keep it healthy. Yeah. Even though it's very tempting to just only want to eat like burgers and fries and everything mm -hmm. hearty because we get just so famished. We are definitely gonna have a drink tonight though. That's the problem is after every <laughs> long day of working on the RV, we're like, we need a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those greens. Mm -hmm. oh, that's what I'm talking about. 
Mexico, baby. Mm -hmm. We've gotten the roof revealed. Check it out. I guess it's kind of attached over there, huh? But if you look up here, we have revealed more water damage. So that is precisely where this roof seam is, which we're going to redo that seam anyway, but we don't want to do it yet until we can find a place to actually cover it up for in case it rains. So that's going to have to sit like that for a while. Add it to the list. We got another visitor. Who's this? This is Roy's brother, Marvin. <laughs> His name is literally Marvin Spain. <laughs> and you're the sweetest little boy, huh? Don't go in there. Hey, Marvin, get out of there. <laughs> We did it. We took the other wall off yep. and no mold, well, except for down there, which we knew about, but no surprise yeah. mold at the top. Check this out. This all looks Woo! pretty good. We're really happy not to see mold right here like we have over on that uh, side. <laughs> That's good. The sad thing though is this paneling goes way deep in there and it's a fixed back behind here. So yeah. that's a problem maybe for tomorrow because uh, I don't think we have anything else left in us. Cheers. Cheers. I feel like we earned these drinks. That was a hard day. It was hard. And for those of you wondering, yes, this is oh, yeah. little baby Allison. This was me in seventh grade. It was a <laughs> it was a rough year to say the least. Luckily it was before Eric knew me, so he doesn't actually know what it was like to encounter <laughs> this. In Guys, the wild. this is a no judgment zone. <laughs> don't judge this. Whatever you do. I look like a twelve year old goth girl. I don't even I don't know. There's a lot. A lot happening. We are going to chill for the rest of the day and then mm -hmm. pick back up tomorrow and probably just still continue gutting stuff. It's weird because when you start, it just seems so hard to do. But then before you know it, you've got it all ripped out and it almost feels like a clean blank canvas or something. And honestly, I don't think it's going to be so hard to fill it all back in. We'll have to just put insulation, brand new panels on the wall, yeah. whatever we decide as far as aesthetics go. But knock on wood, hopefully it won't be too terrible. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good morning or afternoon, you guys. It is the next day. Boy, do we have our work cut out for us today. It is incredibly hot. You can tell I'm already sweating. We've only been out here for like 30 minutes. We don't really have a strict agenda today, but we do want to get this whole unit gone because as we've mentioned, we're going to be putting a different fridge in here. And there's just so much rot and stuff down here that this all kind of has to go and be rebuilt. We showed you guys that we did a quick sketch up of the convertible sofa that we're going to be building over here. I also did a quick sketch up of what this unit could look like to make it big enough to fit the fridge that we want in there. It probably won't end up being exactly like that, but once we get all this out of here, we can kind of assess the space we have and then ultimately put a bunch of new fresh wood in there and figure out what we want to do. But yeah. That's it. I guess time to rip some stuff out. <laughs> oh my. This has had some of the nastiest in insulation so far. So that's why we are masking up big time for this stuff. So we've exposed all the wires. This is all the uh, wires for the control unit. So this shows you things like your water level, your battery condition. And it looks like a complicated mess, but it's actually really simple. All these wires are color coded. They run all the way down here, I guess through the floor, over to here. So you can see all the color-coded wires that determine the level for the tank. And then you've got the wires coming out of the furnace. We fully disconnected the fridge. Yep. We got the cabinet mostly out, and now the big part's coming out. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right. Oh, it's still... Nope, nope. There we go. Will this fit? That's a tight squeeze. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Mm. It looks like it would fit very slowly. Level and let me block it straight out. Check it out, y'all. The fridge is out. Whoop! I'm falling. Boy, is there it nasty. Go. That barely fit out. It is the exact dimensions of the door there. I am a sweaty mess, you guys. I got this heavier duty mask, but man, it's just a sweat factory in there. What I was gonna say was a lot of people were saying that we should keep this fridge, but the thing is, 
This fridge, while it does work, it is really nasty. Come here and take a look at the back. <laughs> this is all rusted out. It's all super old. It would really need a lot of servicing to make sure that it's up to snuff. Also, this is a gas and electric 120 volt and 12 volt fridge, but we really only need a 12 volt fridge. So we actually have one in there that's by a company called ARB, ARB, that uh, was delivered the other day, but that's the one that's going to replace this one. But you guys say it's a an item that everyone wants. So if you want it, let us know. Yeah, let us know. You can <laughs> buy this fridge. I've never plugged it in, but I do think it works probably. I don't know, whatever. I think that's gonna do it. <laughs> that was a couple days of work right oh, there, you guys. It's so hot. I think there's like sweat literally dripping down my neck <laughs> so right now. So much sweat. It's so muggy. But as you guys can tell, we have our work cut out for us in there. And uh, as we said in the beginning, we put no dates on how long this is all gonna take because you can tell it's gonna take a while to get this thing in tip top shape. It's just gonna have to be an ongoing project for us. <laughs> Honestly, I think we could have in one more week, we could have everything gutted, the kitchen, the bathroom, everything mm -hmm. gutted and be completely rebuilding everything. So yeah. it's not, it's intimidating, but manageable. And it really does give you a better sense of everything, just ripping everything away. You can really see how you could put it back together a lot better than what it was. Right. Um, so I'm honestly getting less stressed as we rip more stuff out. It's the most stressful when you walk in, you're like, okay, I have to demolish all this stuff. Yeah, that is really scary to be like, what am I gonna find? But then when you find it, you're like, Okay, I can yeah. fix that. It's fine. I'll figure it out. If you've missed any of the videos in the RV build series, they're all going to be linked in the description below. There's actually a playlist where you can watch them all from the beginning. Yeah, you can go back and see what this beauty looked like before we started ripping her to pieces. Yes. It's very interesting, but she'll be so beautiful when we're done, I promise. Definitely. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> all right. Shower time, as always. <laughs> Goodbye, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.